have the entourage. Yeah. We have everything. Mm, 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 mm. So shit. What's that? 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 Put me in that day right now. What Interview. Yeah. Right and it's uh, just so, yeah, like, I like I said, never. It's just like, right. huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I told y'all about this several times, and I just talked about him the other day. Man, I ain't talked to my family like that. But this is Mr. Leroy Tilly, honey. They put him in jail, so it ended up being 28, 28 from my mama, daddy, brother, sister, nieces, everybody. When so I just told y'all about, about it, when we was at the club, that moment when they kicked the door, night before I he was on America the Most Wanted, I just, I listen. They got me when I was, when he was late, I was on 10 Most Wanted, I went on the run. Oh, you was on the run? Yeah, but they had got all of them. How long you was on the run? I was on the run maybe about two years, two, two or three years. Damn, how the hell you, uh, how the hell you, you dodged for two years? Where you was at? It's everywhere. <laughs> California, well, you know, Alabama, Atlanta, you name it. Only thing was about it. If I wouldn't have lasted so long if I didn't have no money, you know. You ran out of money, so you turned yourself no, in? No, 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 I got caught, I got, I got knocked off, I got set up, oh. which I didn't want to know. You don't want to talk about that? Yeah, right now. You okay, okay, okay. We don't talk. I guess it's, it's safe to say though that you you became like an urban legend. That's we can say that. Yeah. Um. In this day and age we in now, it seems like uh, it's the thing to try to be street or try to be a gangster. You know, like that's that's what it is now. That's the trend. What What's your definition of a gangster? A nigga don't need nobody to do it. He can do it himself. That's it. Yeah. That's a gangster. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead on tell it. I know that's right. saying i just today man back then it was about money and it made sense but now what i'm hearing from this here and that that don't make no sense because it ain't about no money bro it really ain't uh oh. i didn't see niggas uh i didn't see the brokest nigga be cool with just um being known as a nigga that got a gun or something oh like that. man i can't believe it Oh, I, I got to tell everybody. So the girl Terry like oh, oh, spoke about, I don't know who's on the live or upload or whatever. She married my friend. She married his one of his younger brothers. That's my attitude, baby. Say, uh, dudes ain't got no no respect for themselves. Yeah. What you mean by that? Because I, I think I understand what you're saying. Because I see, uh, I guess you're saying it wasn't like that back in the day. But now, in these days, dudes don't got no morals. No mm -hmm. respect. No respect for themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, we ain't got respect. Man, we ain't never had this young man back then. You ain't see brothers killing their brothers, niggas killing their mama, killing their sisters. We didn't play that, man. We didn't do that. And then. In my neighborhood where we came up, you couldn't even disrespect no grown folks. My mama whoop your ass, and my neighbor whoop your ass, and then and, and we go whoop your ass if you disrespect somebody old. Right. You know, and everybody else. Oh, if God. if my mama was attacked, she would feed the whole neighborhood. Cause we we were fortunate enough to always have a little more than the next something that we fed. And my mama said, you know, she be like she was in with the health department. And she made a show. Yeah, you say that being that you a street person, you didn't did so much in the streets, you didn't did time. But even you, you would say you got respect your elders. It ain't like that no more, like you said. I, I be seeing a lot, man. It's it's different. And like you said, people will kill. People niggas will kill you over anything nowadays. Like, it don't take much. Right. It don't take much. And it don't got to be a lot of money, like you said. Even though I'm pretty sure dudes was killing over homes and stuff back then, too. Yeah, right? yeah, but, but when you... It wasn't like that. It wasn't as much, man. Like I say, not about anything. And mm -hmm. then you're crossing. You couldn't leave your wife, your woman with me. Yeah. And you never would have had the 
that probably means if you came from the can't was cut from the same cloth with me. Mm -hmm. had work. I would take your wife and make sure that she is she fell. I made sure she's I ain't trying to put no dick in her. Mm -hmm. right? You know what I'm saying? Because you were my partner. You was my brother. Right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I wouldn't disrespect you like that. Well, how did it get like this? How it came to this? Mm -hmm. Just being slimy, man. Niggas got weak. But we just say that uh shit, we coming up under y'all. You see what I'm saying? So when you say the streets this real game. I posted it on the wall. I tell you, we we built different. We all this Yeah. Could that be I didn't know it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that he takes so grandfather. So he's supposed to speak on him, him man. You see, they only, he only goes so far. He well, I ain't got certain people um, permission to speak on or whatever. We just cut here. I'm, I'm proud of being cut here. <laughs> I'm proud to be cut here. They got to go put their work in, get some strikes, and, you know, kill a nigga for nothing, or do some dirt. Just to be considered gang. He is visibly disgusted with the way shit goes. Hey, they don't give a fuck. Whatever you left out there is out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So everybody, some be, just got to be worker. Uh, 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 I got some other interviews to share. One was Happy Don Lever. That is a good one to listen to. If you want to get a sense of self as well as get a sense of this social media shit. That's the man that be stressing me in life. That man is the boy to interview and he hollered at Emerson. And um, what you be Been out in my life. How long have you been out? About ever since uh, 87. 87? Yeah. Wait, so you not nah, you been free since 87? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. No, you ain't. Uh, I thought you was locked up in the 2000s. Mm, I, 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 what I tell you? you yeah, you ain't. I'm telling you that. I've been free since uh, 2000. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's what he said. You ain't been free since the 87. Now you ain't. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I know that. How, tell me about tell me about the jail time, man. Tell me about tell me about the jail time. What what's the biggest uh lesson you learned in there? What how how do you survive in jail, first of all? I'm still at the be chilly. Yeah. Can't re- it ain't a rehabilitation center then if you if you still gotta be that I mean, monster. You still got to be you don't have to be in the, you, hey, you you know you you don't have to be you have to be a man. Right. Even though you're being, you're, it's just like this. It's, the prison is another form of the street. It's just like the street. Everything got to go with mm, 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 I have to tell you about this. Same yeah, thing. Yeah. Same money. Getting money. It's I mean, I can't. But you still got to mm. be a man. See, because some of them with the material, you know, some prison you can't go to. Mm. Some you got, you got all kind of niggas stuff. Sick mind, asshole, banners, whatever you call it. Mm. I know. You know, I, I lay back and I will observe when I see mm-hmm. how they were coming in the prison, they were getting younger and younger and smaller and smaller. And then they'd be so scared that a nigga like us have to tell them, say, hey, man, look at him, man, you got to go to that shower, man. Look at him, you can't stay in this, another, this cell another night, man, another night, not watching your ass, man. Oh, you know, yeah. Man, they, you know, they, they, that's yeah. Not yeah, uh, they're scared. They don't want to go take a shower. Yeah. Tell my fucking, hey, you stink. Yeah, yeah, because they think I'm going to go on. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, that asshole. They got some niggas, you know, uh, a rather nigga here, nigga fart. <laughs> they hear nigga talk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got the, on, the, on that shit, the sick shit. Yeah. Like that. And especially when you start, you don't you got to the point. You calling another man dick, pussy. That's how, now you know you sick. And what a man is, is that. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with it. He just can stop. They had motherfucking punks coming in with that fake ass, kidding and nah. shit. Yeah. And, and they, they, yeah. Nah. And the motherfucker be tricking like they all tricking with real pussy on the street. Nah. Niggas be on, on different wings. Got a nigga put punk, got a motherfucker looking out for him, keeping the man. Don't walk up on them while they fucking them niggas buying pussy, buying ass like they buying pussy. Well, damn, I was gonna ask you, what's the craziest shit you seen in there? What's the wild shit? But it that, well, that's the wild shit. That I mean, this is sister motherfucker be eight feet and got a motherfucking boyfriend who might be five feet. That sound like hell, man. Yeah, man. It's you know, there's some sick shit going on in that front behind that gate. Mm, you know, mm, mm, but, uh, Anyway, yeah, I know the guards be corrupt enough. You got to deal with them. And then you said, was you was you hustling? Rest your hustling. Yeah, I was hustling everywhere I go. I was hustling in the streets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you was hustling. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y